Right, we've got Guthrie now, the head chef, James Raboon. That's uh, right, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. An American chef. Comes from America, but he's been around age for the last 20 years? 12 years. 12 years. Research. I've just got mixed up with the Taj Mahal, which took 22 years to build. So, uh, sorry about that, James. That's all right. Now, James is going to teach me how to make a salad because basically at the age of 41, still playing cricket, I've got to be very healthy. So, I want to, make, I want to see how he makes a quick, healthy salad that I can make in quick time so I can get down to training and not feel too heavy in the stomach. Okay, ready? Okay. All right, now since you already mentioned that you like tuna, we'll start out with our tuna salad for you. Okay? Is tuna very good for you? Very healthy, lean, no fat, or we know all most fishes are for you. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So well, here we have, we already have some tuna. Huh? We have the greens, dressings, and the condiments that we will be adding. What I'll need you to do to help me is just kind of toss and mix the ingredients together. Okay. Well, I need to spin the right arm line, tossing, uh, tossing things around. <laughs> See, that's why I put the gloves on. You don't have to get dirty. I don't have to put the gloves on. No, no, I've got no. the utensils. Yeah, exactly. Uh, here we have some ahi tuna. As you can see, it's very lean, very nice, very healthy. You can put any quantity in, you know, as, as you like in there. I don't know how much you like, but we'll go with that. We'll throw in, we'll add some onion in there. What's the secret with onion when you peel it? Not to. I've heard of onion stories, you know. I actually I don't really know if there's a real answer, but they said, you know, like when I was young, and I would cry, and the chef would say, put a piece of bread in your mouth. I think what the key is is that you just breathe through your mouth and not your nose. Right. So when you had the bread in your mouth, that was preventing you, you know, your mouth was open. So. I Do you still was, tear up? No, not very often. All right. So you get used I'm to immune it. to it. Huh? Immune After to all the onion years. peels. Put a little bit of onion in there. We'll add the gherkins, chopped gherkins. I love gherkins. I love it with cheese, but there's no cheese on the menu today. Cheese is not that good for you, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it, everything's good for you if it's in the right quantities. If you don't, if you don't overindulge in things. <laughs> They say wine, you know, is good for you. A glass of wine a day is supposed to be healthy for you. What was that? that was just added in? This we just added capers. Capers. Okay. Don't eat capers on its own either. Yeah, don't eat it on its own. Very, very sour. We've got the herbs here, parsley. Uh -huh. Yes. And we're going to add what we have here is a citrus vinaigrette, which is made with orange juice, pomelo, lemon juice. Pamelo uh -huh. is kind of like an Asian uh, grapefruit. It's very, they make a lot of uh, pamelo uh, salads in Thailand. Right. So sure. you, you could have any fruit dressing you want. You could add orange. Uh -huh. Lemon, orange, limes, whatever citrus you like. What do you prefer? The no. sweetness of the orange, you know, is always good because it balances against the acidicness of a, a lime or a lemon. Yeah. So it's almost like a, it's like na adding natural sugar to it. So I wonder if that's going to be the main dressing, or he's going to add something else. No, 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 no. no. You're going to, now, now you got to, now we got to put you to work. Now I've got to toss yeah. this. Oh, look at that! Now you got a new career coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! See, oh, what a good job! I think, I think if I'm going to be a chef, the, the population of this world will be culling very quickly. <laughs> now, what do we do now? now so, right, ready to go. So the dressing what I would do, everything huh? again. Yes, exactly. Right. But you see, we do. You're using oil based. You know what I mean? So it, it's just wetting it, basically, because you can see the sheen on it. You know, yep. It's not opposed to uh, a mayonnaise based or sour cream based dressing, which would, to me, would just destroy lettuce and the flavor of the food anyway. So this is a lot more natural, a lot more healthier. Now, if you're cooking this at home, uh -huh. I've asked you this before, but you just put that dressing on. How long would that last in the fridge? How many serves could you do over a couple of days? The the dressing I wouldn't add on until the time just before you eat it. Now, I I like to put it on. This is just a personal thing, and a lot of chefs shouldn't hear this, but I like a, a salad sometimes a little more wilted, so I might let it sit in the fridge for a little bit and absorb it. You know, 
maybe a little bit of the crunch is gone, but I, I kind of like the flavor of it that way. That's for what? Yeah. But I guess we were discussing early earlier, you when you ask like tomatoes and products, fresh fresh vegetables and fruits, I would look at a two to three day shelf life on. Two days. Because I like cooking my uh, my little salads at home and holding them for a couple of days and then cook something new. So. Two to three days. Yeah, two to three days. So if you're a little bit time poor, two to three days these salads can last for. So should I eat this? Sure. Can I use this big fork? No, 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 no. They won't be able to stab anything. <laughs> they will give you this as well. Unless I get you a group. An ex cricketer down in WA, Joey Angel, he used to shuffle it in with forks like this. Don't worry about that. So Google Joe Angel. Would have been about 10 years ago he played for Australia. Now this tuna's raw. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. We need a couple of shots of this tank. 